So what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Um, today we will be trying a fly by my teacher and master in the in this uh, fly tying regime um, called Jon Sigurdsson. Uh, this is a fly Siggi Svart or Sigga Svart like we call it in Icelandic. And as you see this is a rather simple small streamer pattern that's uh, yeah, it turned out to be really effective at some point when the fish is not really biting. And there is a story behind that fly I will tell you along the way. And uh, before that we will start to attach a thread to our shank, but the uh, fly is named after uh, named after a friend of uh, Jón. Uh, and also her Jón's sister's son called Ziggy. But uh, the story with the fly is this picture here that I'm going to show you of this man holding this huge trout in the Thingvellis Lake. That is um, from Sigthor, who has a podcast here in Iceland on fishing, a really nice podcast called Hillerin. Unfortunately, it's only in Icelandic. But uh, the tail of the fly, we are using a red uh, rooster or a red cock for it. Red hen will do as well. But about the picture, I was going to tell you the story the, that Sigthor was guiding this guy there in Tinkwetlix Lake and they hadn't catch, or hadn't caught anything yet until Sigthor decided to let the guy try this uh, fly from Jón. But uh, Jón did send Sigthor some flies since he knew Sigthor was guiding all around Iceland. And this is one of the flies that was in the box. And when this guy from the States put, it, put on this fly, uh, after a few casts, he immedi immediately caught this, uh, I don't know what it was, 16 pound trout or, or something, brown trout in the thing with this lake, humongous trout. Um, the uh, thread we are using, that's a sample fly nano silk 50 denier in, f yeah, in black. And uh, for the rib of the fly, we are using um, sample fly. Uh, wire, uh, 0 0.2 mil silver wire, that's right here. But the body of the fly is like half and half, almost like a flat silver tinsel or a mirror tinsel from the silver fly here. And, and uh, a black DMC wool, I'll show you after just a few seconds. You'll tie in the, in the first part of the body first. But like ma like many of Jon's flies uh, from his collection, that spans over 50 flies. You know, there is probably no one in Iceland that has made so many flies that have been successful. Uh, some of those flies that nev has never been like published ever. So I'm the <laughs> actually I'm the only person alive in Iceland who knows this uh, part of his collection since I knew Jon personally. I learned from him and I fished with him. For years and years, so um, that's one of the purpose of the channel. That is to preserve those uh, patterns from your own and to get them get them on air. If you're going to Iceland fishing, just to you can know, have a look at them and have some like serious secret weapon secret weapons in your arsenal before you come in and to fish here. And like I said to everybody who is uh, not from Iceland, you're of course welcome to come to our beautiful country and fish. That's just every 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 single one of you is welcome. Uh, so we've done the done the first part of the body. As you see, it's just like uh, about a little bit more than a half of uh, flat silver tinsel. Then we wrap that with our uh, silver wire to reinforce the body. And the front part of the body, we are using a DMC yarn. That's something that you can get actually kind of everywhere in every craft store and stuff like that. You can you can find this DMC yarn in even in the supermarket. Depends on where you live. Here in Iceland, you can get it uh, in many places. And this is remarkably and unbelievably good material to tie from. It's like strong. It comes in variation of colors and it's... Uh, easy to work with since it uh, has uh, six strands in it and you can separate those uh, separate the, the yarn and we are using three strands of uh, the DMC for this uh, pattern sometimes you use two just one or even four it's just 
all depends on how, how bulky you want your body of the flight to be. And then we'll just lock that bad boy in with our thread right here. Tightened securely. And then we'll sniff off the end. Like so. Yeah, remember to like, share and subscribe. And uh, you can, if you want, uh, support the channel if you like. The instructions on that plus the of the plus of course the uh, pattern of the fly is just in the video's description below right below so you can have a look at that we will helicopter off the wire like this keep the thread tight on it and uh, for the beard of the fly you can use either red rooster or or uh, right hand i'm using rooster for this one and for the hook that I forgot, we are using a traditional nymph hook from Arex in the size of 12 for this one. And uh, let me see what we are doing here. And like I said, yeah, there are like, um, uh, this is just one of Jon's probably over 50 flies that have been, has been really, really good and successful here in Iceland. Uh, we'll, for the beard, measure it out about this length. Uh, snip off the tack end like so, and we'll just keep those feathers in between our fingers, just keep them there. And I'll show you why, because um, we are placing a little bit of uh, head cement on the cutted piece, just like a quarter of a drop, just like that, nothing more than that. And what this will do is that it's going to keep the fibers of the feather close together. So we'll just tie them in like, like this. And it's going to make both the feathers and, and some furs, like squirrel and stuff, way easier to work with. It's just like a, almost like a groundbreaking method to handle some flat tying material. And for the wing of this uh, Sika Sort uh, fly, we are using a red cow for cape tail. You can kind of use if you want to use calf skin. Uh, the furs are more even there rather than on the tail, but I don't have anything else uh, than the tail at the moment. So grab, grab this pinch of, uh, of fur and take the uh, remove the shorter fibers away. And I'm not stacking the hairs for this one. It's just not necessary at that point. And when we tie in the wing, we want the tip of the wing to uh, match about the tip of the tail in length. About. It's just like um, that ratio I'm working with. And we'll do the same tricks with the wing as we did with the beard. We'll just keep them in our hands in place and give them just like a little touch of uh, head cement or uh, varnish on it. So it's going to make total difference when you tie it in and work with the material and like I said uh, this fly you can use it as a streamer and you can use it both in lakes and running water uh, you can even use it on the coastline if you're fishing for um, if you're fishing for sea trout in the water like they do in Denmark and some other countries you can take this fly kind of everywhere and it's gonna work just fine uh, the uh, last uh, thing that you put on the fly is the, are those uh, chain bead or bead chain eyes that you can, you know, get kind of in many places. And this is a small, smaller size of it because we are using a small hook. Those are the eyes of the fly and uh, you're almost actually working quite a lot with uh, like al alternative materials. And I will come into that into, in another videos. Uh, later on with uh, the Nielsen nymph, that is a fly that is uh, some very special ingredients in it, but it works just fine. Uh, just like any any of his uh, any of his flies that he made during his career, as a both as a fly tire and uh, a fly fisherman. So we'll do the whip finish here, and uh, 
like I said, you can use this fly as a streamer and I will strip it rather fast than, than, than uh, slow. I'll strip it fast and short. And for big trout and sea trout, this would be the optimal optimal fly. Tighten other other color combination. You can use this for Arctic char as well. I will show you that kind of uh, fly later on in the video. Uh, not in this video, but in a, <laughs> later on in another video later on. Uh, for the final touch of the fly, we are using a solar response cure uh, head cement. That is a yeah, UV head cement or glue. That is uh, super thin and very easy to work with, and you can apply that with this brush that comes in handy with the uh, with a glass. And the final touch is just to uh, sap it with our UV torch, and then we will be good to go with the uh, Ziggy Swart fishing. You must let me know in the comments below if you try this fly anywhere else than in Iceland, just to for the fun of it, to know if it works anywhere else. Uh, we are done for now, I think, and I just want to say thanks for watching, guys, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.